Good morning class. Welcome back to grade 3 maths. How are you all doing today? So today let's start a new chapter, chapter 5, division. So you have learned about the basic concepts of revision in your lower classes. So let's revise the concepts once again. So what is division? Division means we are distributing or separating a whole item or a number into equal parts or equal groups and we use a symbol for dividing numbers. We put a dot, then a line, then again a dot at the bottom. So this is the symbol we use in division. And look at this picture given here. Do you see balls here? How many balls are given here? There are one, two, three. Three rows and one, two, three, four, five. Five columns. Three rows and five columns of balls given here. So what is the total number of balls? This three into this five. Three into five is equal to 15 balls are here. Now, let's divide these balls into three equal groups. So let's see how we can divide that. How would we divide into three equal groups? Let's make this one. Let this be one group. Let this be another one and let this be another one. So we have made these balls into three equal groups. So we have made these balls into three equal groups. See, here there is the first group, the second group and the third group. And how many balls are there in each group? Each of this group contains one, two, three, four, five. Five balls in each group. So we have divided the 50 balls into three equal groups of five each. Clear? Now we'll see a different case. Again, we have these 15 balls. We First we divided them into three equal groups. Now let's try dividing them into five equal groups. How can we divide into five equal groups? Let this be one group. Let this be another one. The third one, fourth one and fifth one. So there we have divided the 50 balls into five equal groups and in each group how many balls are there? One, two, three. Each of these group has five, sorry, three balls each, right? So this 15 divided by five is equal to three. Is that clear? So from the multiplication fact, three into five is equal to 15, we can write two division facts. Which are they? 3 into 5 is equal to 15. This is 15 divided by 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. Which means when 15 was divided into 3 equal groups, each group had 5 balls in it. And again, this 15 divided by 5 is equal to this 3. Clear? Means 15 when it was divided into 5 equal groups, each group had three balls in it. Clear? So, you see these numbers 3 into 5 is equal to 15. These, uh, this, these numbers 3 and 5 are numbers which can divide this 15 completely, right? When 15 was divided in, uh, by 3, you got 5 as the answer and the division was complete. When we divided the balls, no ball, no ball was left, right? So, 15 could be divided completely by this 3 and 5, right? Keep that in mind. Now, children, look at this division fact. 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. See, this is the number we are dividing or this is the number we are dividing into equal groups or equal parts. So, this number which we are dividing is called the dividend. And this number, 3, this is the number of equal groups that we are dividing into or this is the number with which we are dividing this dividend. So that is called the divisor and we got this 5 here. It means how many items were there in each group, right? So that answer. So in each group, how many we had when we divided. So that is called the quotient. Clear? Yeah? Now, you have learned about long division in your lower classes, right? So here we have written 15 divided by 3 in long division method. So you write 15 here and you write 3 here. You divide this 15 by 3. 
How many threes are there in 15? Five, right? So you write five here. Five threes are 15. You subtract the numbers and you get a remainder zero. So the answer or the result of the division is equal to five. So that result is the quotient or Q here. Q is equal to five. And when the division was done this way, no ball was left behind. All the balls were divided among the groups. So there was no leftover or no remainder. Clear? So the remainder here is zero. Clear? Now look at a different case. Here we are trying to divide this 15 into seven equal groups. So we have one group, the second, the first group, second group, third group, fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh. We have made seven equal groups and one ball was left. See? And in those seven equal groups, there were two balls in each group. See here? See here? Two here, two here, 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 here. And in the end, after the division, one ball was left. So when you divide, when you do this with the long division method, 15 divided by 7 means we are trying to divide this 15 into seven equal groups. How many sevens will go? We, uh, we got two in each group means we got, see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We made into seven equal groups and each group had two in it. So how many sevens will go in 15? 15 divided by seven is equal to two and two into seven is equal to 14. When you subtract the numbers, you get one remainder. 15 minus 14 is equal to one, see? which is the one ball which was left over after this division. So we have a remainder, clear? So the quotient or the result after division or the number of balls in each group is equal to two. And the last one, the one that was left over is called the remainder. And here the remainder is equal to one, clear? So let's revise the terms once again. So what is dividend? Dividend is the number that we are dividing into equal parts or groups. What is divisor? The number with which we are dividing is called the divisor. What is quotient? The result we get after a division is called the quotient. It shows us how many items are there in each group. So what about remainder? What is left over after the division is called the remainder of the division? Clear? Children, you can go to the Let's Recall page, which is in page number 67. And uh, uh, in 68 also, you can see some questions. You have to go through these two pages and then move on to exercise 5.1. There are two set of questions there. Please read the questions carefully and do accordingly. And uh, in the same page, page number 68, at the top, you can see this heading, Fun with Maths. Please go through that as well and do accordingly. So that's all for today. We will meet in the next class with a new topic. Until then, bye.